never heard before. Suddenly, a voice told me, keep on singing, little boy, and raise your arms to the big black sky. Raise your arms the highest you can, so the whole universe will glow. shot uh, a wakeboard competition in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I ended up shooting some of the Metal Militia riders, Justin Oman in particular, uh, with MX-13. And he contacted me a couple months later and asked if, uh, you know, I was, if I could uh, give him some of the photographs from that day. So that was kind of the start of things. And uh, we kind of became friends after that. I shot a couple events for his company, um, went out to his house, and uh, did a couple of random uh, shots with him and Metal Militia and a couple other magazines. and. Uh, all the shoots we've done in the past have been pretty, pretty successful. And as a whole, we've got a couple uh, spreads in magazines. One in particular, we ended up shutting down an entire park in Seattle, Washington, and set up his jumps and ended up hitting them and uh, created some really sweet shots with Justin. So it's always, it's always fun to get with him and create some gold. So I hit him up with this idea a couple weeks ago, and you know it's really difficult to describe over the phone. But uh, I've been doing this style shot for the last couple years. We're basically Instead of panning horizontally across the frame, the camera is actually uh, spinning with the subject. Like if they're spinning in a circle, like dancing in a field, or uh, maybe doing, let's say, a backflip on a motorcycle, the camera is spinning as they spin. It's a really difficult shot to create, but it's also a really cool shot. And I have a couple really nice shots of that in my portfolio. And I wanted to try to incorporate that style shot with. Uh, someone riding a freestyle motorbike. We got the idea, shot the idea back and forth. It was difficult to describe. He basically said, you know, show up, you know, tell me what you need, we'll get it lined up, and we'll do it. Uh, we left Portland, Oregon nice and early in the morning. Uh, it was super rainy, and uh, we didn't know if we'd actually be able to go out and shoot because it was so rainy. It was raining almost the entire way out there and legitimately about 20 minutes out of Redmond, Oregon where Justin lives and the MX-13 compound is, the rain ceased and it was actually super sunny and just about ideal day to shoot some uh, freestyle motocross. We pull up there and we see the huge crane from like a mile away when we can first see his house and uh, immediately we went and set everything up. start, I'd have the camera slightly at an angle using the battery grip, looking directly down, kind of at the angle he'd be going off the ramp at. And then as soon as he goes off and he starts to flip, I would try to flip the camera perfectly even with the rotation of the flip that he was doing. And, you know, on paper this sounds difficult, and in execution this is extremely difficult. Uh, you know, I only had probably 30 to 40 attempts where he was doing backflips, and out of those 30 to 40 attempts, I only got the panning right probably around three yeah. times. I, uh, you know, I envisioned this shoot in my head and I was actually able to create the exact shot I was there to create and I think it came out awesome. Dripping. 
So, you know, this shoot was done with using pretty expensive camera equipment, a Canon 1D Mark IV and a Canon 5D with L-series lenses, but what's cool about this shot is it, you know, applies to all budgets of photography. Anyone with, you know, a simple point and shoot that has manual settings to a high-end high DSLR can create a style shot like this. What's up, Wade? It's Jimmy. How are you? Fantastic. Ne fantastic. Never better. It's not a porno shoot, Wade. It's a video interview for a photo shoot I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Hey, I got